These puzzles are internationally recognized symbols of this condition. The world expresses support for people with an autistic spectrum with these small particles. Autism is such a condition of mind when an individual is completely separated from the world and lives in an unreal world created by himself in his own imagination. This is a mental disorder that is usually detected during the first three years of an infant. One in 160 of children is born with autism disorder in the world. Some of them are able to be independent and productive, but many of them have serious disorders and need regular care and help from others. It should be noted that the number of people with such disabilities is constantly growing throughout the world. This issue is also problematic in Georgia, where the number of children with autism spectrum increases every year. Accordingly, their rehabilitation process is an additional question to discuss. Considering these issues, one of the most important things is the very innovative method that tries to improve the health status of patients in this category. One of these innovative methods of dealing with autism is stem cell, umbilical cord blood cell transplantation or bone marrow transplantation. Studies like that have been conducted for about four or five years in the world. The main research center is located in the United States, in Duke University, North Carolina, and in California, the Sacramento Science Center. They study results of treating patients with their own stem cells. In this case, the patient should have saved his own umbilical cord blood, which is transplanted to children aged from 4 to 15 years, or getting the stem cells from the child's own bone marrow, which are transplanted to him. This procedure could be done from the age of 8 to 20. This method turned out to be absolutely safe since the introduction of stem cells does not cause side effects in patients. Results were significant, such as the growth of intelligence and the vocabulary growth. There are special tests, such as the ADOS test, the Vineland test, that study everyday skills, communication abilities of a patient, his adaptation in the environment. Existing special tests, expressive and receptive communication expression tests, are also improved. This method was recently used in Georgia, by the stem cell bank GeoCord for patients with autistic disorders. It is too early to talk about the final results, but it can be said that at this time achievement exceeded all expectations. Today our clinic will perform stem cell transplantation for the treatment of autism. In a clinical trial, a seven-year-old patient is transplanted with his own stem cells, which was stored by his parents seven years ago in a stem cell bank. Fortunately, the cells can benefit a patient and improve his condition. The child was diagnosed with autism at the age of two years and seven months. I had doubts about the disorder earlier as he had problems communicating with other children. Then we started going to rehabilitation courses, we went through therapy, which led to small changes. But then we learned about the stem cell transplantation method, we went to the clinic, it has been seven months after the first transplant. Almost all fields are improved, such as communication, verbal part. The child began to talk better, contact with others easier. The first transplantation was performed in July 2016, which was successful without complications. In two hours after transplantation, the patient was physically active. After two weeks, the ability to hold a pencil and drawing was improved. A month later, he was able to start reading and created the name of his mother with his small figures. After a few months, he learned the alphabet. He could write, read, recognize different shapes. He could also collect any words, draw shapes, when for him drawing the line was a problem. A child who knew a few words has now increased his vocabulary. It is also important that we conducted a study of this autism using special tests that were carried out before the transplantation.
it was found that the ability and communication skills of the patient were improved. After the first transplantation, the child began to learn the alphabet, recognized numbers, indicated everything in the book and was able to guess and fulfill parents' instructions. Seven years ago, when Sofia and her husband decided to preserve the umbilical cord blood, no one could imagine that they would ever need it, because the parents were expecting a healthy baby. The decision was made for the purpose of insurance. It is very important that parents take care of the preservation of umbilical cord blood from the very beginning, since blood can only be taken in the first 15 minutes after giving birth. If this time is lost, this priceless material is lost. Therefore, it is important to inform parents about this in detail. In the future, we hope that as a result of coordination with the American colleagues, cord blood transplantation to brothers and sisters will be possible, if for some reason the parents could not save the blood of the baby's umbilical cord. During pregnancy, I learned that in Georgia we can store umbilical cord blood, so after giving birth we donated umbilical cord blood to the bank. Soon turned out that stored blood was the very useful thing we need and that gives us the huge hope for our child's fast and final cure. When we learned that research was being conducted to cure autism by using stem cells transplant, we applied the clinic. And indeed, the expectations were met, we have a very good result. The child began to write, draw, knows the entire alphabet. At the first stage, safety is the most important thing. We check the effectiveness of the study and follow all the methods that have been adopted for the treatment and some clinical trial protocols in the United States. They have extensive experience, dozens of patients have been treated. After the safety of treatment was established, the second phase of study began. Nowadays, Duke University has been allocated a significant grant for the treatment of autism with stem cells. The results which we already got from our work are giving us the reason of hope to re-establish in this case. Every month in our clinic more children will take a part in the transplantation of stem cells and it means that the prospect of improving their condition will become clearer. The dreams of their parents will not be blown away by the wind and we will have the full frame, a complete picture from the scattered puzzles.